Hey yo, it's your boy, Boss DK. We're gonna do what if Deku had a darkness quirk remastered, which I'm surprised I didn't think about this sooner, but I'm actually glad because uh, I'm able to throw out more videos and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um for the people that are watching this video, which I always I always forget to put this in here, but I I wanna do Twitch. I wanna do Twitch too. So um my Twitch is boss dk23. The intro won't be too long, guys. Boss uh, DK23, all right? So we gon we're going to um get I want y'all to tell me what games y'all want me to start streaming on Twitch cuz I I have a Minecraft world I have no problem to stream on. I have Warzone, I'm getting better at that. I'm good at pretty much, I'm good at Brawl. Um, I might even potentially get My Hero 2, if that's what y'all want. So y'all put down in the comments, please put down in the comments what y'all want me to stream. And when I have a consistent people that, um, well, when I have more consistent people that are coming from my YouTube to my Twitch just to check it out, that will be amazing. So enough of that said. Let's get into the actual video. There was a boy realizing not all men are created equal. And so he pledged himself. He wanted power. He wanted strength. But no matter how hard he trained throughout the years, he was never strong enough. So... With a mean, angrily look in his eyes, he looked himself in the mirror and said, why? Why was I born this way? My mom has a quirk. My dad has a quirk. But why? Why do I not have a quirk? Why? And with this anger, this frustration, he just knew he needed power. He was almost wish wishing to risk it all just to get any ounce of quirk. It didn't matter what the quirk was. He'll do anything. But he knew he knew that wasn't realistic. So instead of crying about not having a quirk, he trained his body rigorously and also trained his mental to be able to withstand cold heat, anything. He also trained low key to, you know, deal with explosions for obvious reasons. Every day him and Bakugo would, you know, fight. But due to this, Deku being a lot stronger than what he was in canon also made Bakugo want to be still the top dog. It was almost like a secret ritual at the school. So any and every day, at the end of every day, him and Bakugo would go every single day for many, many years with Kachan winning every single fight. But Deku didn't give up hope, even when the UA thing came. But, I mean, Deku was like, what's up? We can go right now if you got a problem with it, Kanchan. With Bakugo saying, mm, I don't feel like whooping your pine today. And Deku saying, hm, don't tell me you're scared. With the fight being resolved, obviously. But Deku had one secret. Not, not the one you may think. <sighs> he always played with all different types of things. Fire, water, air, energy control. He tried so many different things, and it did not work. But he did love meditating in the dark. He never knew why. But then, one night, when he was doing image training, the room felt cold. But Deku also had another secret. Before we get into that one, we have to talk about something that happened many years ago. Deku... Saw All Might. He saw him as light. Light is truth, right? But then why is this society so jacked up? Why is it all the flashy quirks like Kachan, like All Might, that are the important ones? There's heroes like Eraserhead, Gun Hero. There's heroes that are so much more effective and so low-key and so proficient. Why is it always the ones with the light? But then Deku heard a voice. So, are you telling me you don't think light is truth? So, if light is lies, then what is truth? But before Deku could get, get a thought together, he woke up. But little did he know, that was only the beginning. So, now let's flash. Now, let's go back to where we was. 
Deku. Deku. Realize. Sorry. All right. All right. Let me break a little character real quick, guys. Um, I had to cut the video, so I'm sorry if I repeat something, but I have to regain my bearing, so I do apologize. Uh, let's continue. Deku realizing that light is a contradiction in itself. How is it truth? But no one's. But that's when everyone's the shadiest. A businessman. Individuals go out and do all sorts of things, but during the darkness is when their true nature shows. So Deku contemplating, almost going mentally insane over this brief thought pattern was some bugging, messing with him. He didn't know what to do, but it was okay because he realized that truth is not light, but truth yet is the darkness. Because without darkness, without knowing one's true character, without being afraid, without being placed in said situation, <clears throat> without being placed in the unknown, how do you truly know who you are? But as Deku kept pondering these thoughts, the room, it wasn't just cold. It was comforting. It was almost warmth, but not warmth itself. But, but, but then Deku became in darkened. And with all this, Deku realized something. He activated his new quirk, Ombrokinesis, a.k.a. Shadow Control, a.k.a. Real Nigga Status. And with this, Deku didn't train his quirk. He mellowed in it, embraced it, realizing this society doesn't need more light. It needs darkness it needs the truth of the shadows <sighs> a deku breathe in and breathe in and breathe out controlling the shadows getting a feel for it the chilly but yet not chilly nature realizing the difference between light light itself as an entity is heavy it's thick it's unruly but shadows they're thin and calm but that's also where the problem lies. If you're not a sufficient Ombro individual, you cannot use Ombro against a, pi um, a photokinesis individual because light is a lot more heavier <laughs> than darkness. One tiny candle can disrupt a whole bunch, but a slither of a shadow will not do nothing in the grand scheme of all this light. So Deku realized this. But at the same time, Deku, Deku sub realized something else. Darkness isn't inherently evil. It's people's fear is attached to it. Darkness feeds off of energy, just like anything does. But the emotions that have the most weight are our negative ones. So if, it's, if, if you're hungry, you will eat anything. But if your positivity is strong enough, it will feed off of that too, but not just feed, it will grow. So with Deku having this newfound knowledge, he changed everything about himself. He transformed in a sense because instead of having his green, black-like hair, he had a complete slick back black hair with his hair going all the way down to his back, but not just there yet, but it's long hair now. Deku, Rocky. Fingerless or fingered gloves with a whole black outfit, almost looking like it was a, what would I say? How would you say it? Low tech armor gear, almost, give or take. Deku realizing his physical body is so strong, but combined with this power of the shadows, he might not be unstoppable, but oh, oh baby, will he have. Or will he be something different all entirely? And since the story is just so interesting, man, it's a, one of the babies that got me to being a YouTuber, or at least starting on my YouTube journey. We're going to go a little bit further into this story. And I hope y'all do enjoy. Now let's talk about what happens during the entrance exam after I take this hit. So now, we will talk about the entrance exam. And oh, 
You think you know how this will play out, but you're sadly mistaken. This plays out differently than it would normally. Deku decides not to use his quirk. He decides to use his physical combat. He wants people to know just because he's quirkless, (laughs) he will become the number one. No. The number zero. No. He will become the hero of heroes. He will become a leader that is so beyond comprehension. Leaders will want to follow him. Deku knows what his purpose is. And while he's doing all of this, he's doing image training. Walking side along Bakugo. Bakugo's talking his usual reckless heat. But at the same time, this Bakugo is a lot humble. Because of the fact that Deku was able to keep up with him. And pushing him. Almost like a Goku and Vegeta rivalry. But... With the Bakugo always having the edge due to his quirk. But little did little did Bakugo know that Deku was training way more proficiently. Due to having these shadows, he were able to do more advanced training. Going up to mountaintops and being able to fly at incredible distances. Allowing him to... Allowing him to go to places he wouldn't be able to go normally to enhance his physical capabilities. But at the same time, Deku did not waste time lacking around. He also trained his quirk to extensive degrees. Playing around with it, seeing it, understanding how the shadows like to move. And understanding how shadows work. Their tendencies. How thick he can make them. Little did Deku know at the time, but. He can conjure up weapons with shadows. And also for a side note, for everyone that's made it this far, thank you. Please like if you like so far. And don't forget, I do Twitch. And I, and I love you. But let's get back into the video before we conclude out. We're going to go into the entrance exam when Deku's doing image training. He almost slipped and started using his quirk. De- Bakugo noticed this, but very briefly, he was like, why does this dude look so dark? But he brushes off because there's no way this quirkist loser can actually have a quirk. So that 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 would be if you don't have a quirk around four, you don't really have a quirk. But Udaraka does what Udaraka does. Udaraka things. Hashtag Udaraka. <clears throat> and so we will have little mama do what she does in Kenan. But the difference here is Deku looks at her and says, Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm not gonna lie, you're pretty cute. Deku was speaking truth and nothing but truth. Now, you might be like, where's all this confidence coming from? Well, we got a different Deku. This Deku was low-key inspired by the darkness without knowing it because it pushed him to get to the point to where he was able to handle a high level, almost like it's one for all, but he was able to high, you know, he was able to, it gave him a push in his overall mentality, okay? You know what I'm saying? So it made him a little different. So he, he he was in a calm state to where he only spoke truth. He was like, you're pretty cute, Uraraka. And everyone was slightly caught off guard for the fact that he already knew her name. But and but uh, Deku's like, you probably don't remember me, do you? But we, we don't need to worry about that. So with this being said, the entry exam happens. They all break in robots per usual. Bakugo's having his fun. Deku's having his fun too because he's smart. So he put in some bl- blueprints a long time ago for weapons. So he has brass knuckles, brass knuckles, and I'm gonna say a um, katana of some sort. I don't think this variation of Deku will need a um, normal bow staff just yet because I don't need to do every single one where he has a bow staff because sometimes that's not realistic. So we're gonna have it to where you know our boy uh, Deku is uh, going stupid, go crazy with the sauce. And he is definitely having fun, you know, breaking the robots and going for weak points and using the robots to help destroy more robots. And then we get around. We're going to fast forward here. We're going to get around to when the zero point robot comes. Everyone's running and Deku looks eager all outdoors, looks at the robot. But I mean, of course, he made it to Udaraka in time. So we, we, we can bypass that one. He looks at the zero point robot and he's like, damn. I wanted to save this for the next time me and Kachan fight, but I guess while shadows are erupting in his hand, growing, growing, and growing thicker and thicker, but Deku said, I think I can do this quickly and no one will see. 
Deku cusps his hands together. Takes a wide like stance, almost like he has a blade, but with his hands cussed together. And he's like, Uda Raka. Get up. She's like, but I can't the rock. But the second she said that, the rock immediately got crushed into powders. Get behind me and do it quick. With the no hesitation, Uraraka limped over to Deku and dashed or prone died behind Deku. And then Deku said, Dark whip. And then with a single motion, the zero point robot was cut into, into tiny bite-sized chunks. And that is where we'll end this what if off. And thank you. And I said it before, but I'll say it again. I love you.